So let's just start. And just trying for all of us to bring our mind to the same place our body is. Take a nice deep breath. It's always a good place to start and check your position if you're whether you're sitting in a chair or sitting on a um, cushion with your legs crossed. Make sure your spine is straight, stretching from the base all the way up to the crown of the head. Can imagine it as a string of pearls of light and it's lengthening. So perhaps somebody has maybe there's a string on the crown of your head and someone's just very gently pulling you. So your neck gets longer, you're getting taller. And this is not just kind of like forcing ourselves to sit upright, we're just very gently. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. And my chiropractor said to me the other day, you know, at our age, I think we're all, anyway, when you get to my age, she said any millimeter that you gain over gravity as we're all starting to bend forward, she says, is successful. So think about that when you're walking around. And she has a note as you check out, stand up straight. So think about very gently aligning your shoulders with your hips and just imagine your spine is lengthening. Got some space in between those vertebrae. Just imagine all the muscles along the spine are releasing. Head is very gently tipped forward, putting some length in the back of the neck. Relaxing the jaw. And then just bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax your scalp and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the back of the head. Just go down through your body, focusing on the jaw, just releasing any tension there, the shoulders. But yet you're still lengthening, you're, you're relaxing the shoulders, but you're still sitting up straight, you're not slumping. And then just relax everything else, the limbs, the hands, the fingers. And think about your feet too, just relax them and the toes. And then bring the mind to the breath and notice those very subtle sensations as you're inhaling and exhaling. So you're not breathing in and out forcefully, you're just noticing the air flowing in and flowing out again. And then if there are some sounds in your environment, people in your home, just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to run off and investigate. And then notice what's arising in your mind. Is there some residue from today? Perhaps you met with a, a good friend and there's love in your heart and friendship and ease of communication. And just allow the thoughts of love for your friend if that's what happened today, allow that to arise without attachment and then just let it flow on. So no grasping. Try not to analyze or criticize or have opinions. Just allow the feelings to arise, to abide, and then they'll just gradually dissolve if we don't engage.
and then bring to mind some people of your life. So maybe the ones you love, your friends, and people you have a little bit of difficulty with, and then your strangers. And I'm curious, maybe some of these have changed place in your mind, in your heart. And always bearing in mind that we're all pretty much the same, us human beings, us sentient beings, in our wish to find happiness. Somehow it's always eluding us, but we're always running into problems and we're constantly trying to avoid them. And then we all have this really amazing capacity for this enlightened mind. Everyone has this extraordinary potential. So we're all equal in that way. And some people are just in this life a little bit further down the track than others. There's no judgment there. It's just where you're at. So however it is you're turning up this evening with whatever it is that's going on, just accept it's totally fine. So the other thing that we tend to do, and one of the things I really like about some of these yoga classes I've been going to is this absolute ban on comparison. They do not encourage it. So it enables people to feel safe. So think the same thing too, even in this, even in our meditations. You're just where you're at at the time, no comparison to anyone else. Just you're on your own path. So bring your mind back to the breath. I think we'll do this meditation this evening for the benefit of all these sentient beings. And for ourselves as we're moving along our path. So just um, remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is really a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind. So we can equally create positivity there as well. So we start with the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being today, maybe this life, or in all, maybe some past lives, and then think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions, and having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we know from our present suffering that we maybe don't want any more. So logically it makes sense to remove those karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering. And then we can just regret our delusions as well. So our anger and attachment and the rest, which cause us to harm others. And then think, oh, I'm really sick of this suffering, so what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So we're, we come here to the power of reliance. So first is refuge. We rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And we're not asking Buddha to forgive us. It's not like some higher power that's going to take all this away or just deal with it for us. So we're doing the work using the methods. So you can visualize Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. This is a, a ball of radiant, blissful, radiant white light if visualization is difficult for you. So really try and feel the presence. And you can also imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of radiant, blissful white light, the whole body, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. There's this beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals, 
and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart. The left is underneath the right. The left is holding a bell, and the bell represents wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, and the vajra represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents the union of these two, and this symbolizes enlightenment, development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So this is also part of reliance. So the very beings we've harmed and those who have harmed us, and we try and develop a wish for them to be free from suffering. So think particularly of people that maybe you've harmed recently and in the past and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginningless time. And then think about maybe someone who's harmed you and you can have compassion for them because they will suffer as a result of the harm that you've done, that they've done to you. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these beings and think, I must purify for their sake. And now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine. This is where we take the medicine, doing this actual practice of purification. So we start with the body, and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar. You can imagine that it's just like coming out of a, a hose quite forcefully, or you can also imagine a waterfall maybe. And it's, but it's coming from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa. Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa. Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa. Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa. Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there's no way that you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And next is the purification of the speech. And Vajrasattva now very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And it arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, 
filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So we just imagine that all that speech that's harmful. So when we're talking about others and gossiping and harsh speech and just rabbiting on about nothing speech and lying, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dino Patita Tira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Savasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mata Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dino Patita Tira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Duda me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So the moment anybody hears your voice, it benefits their mind, makes them happy, inspires them. So next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra. Again, this kind of arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So again, the same analogy. You walk into a room and you flick on the switch and the light dispels the darkness in the room. So again, next time you walk into a dark room and you turn on the light, imagine you are dispelling darkness. So rather than think, oh, I'm going to turn the light on, think I'm going to dispel the darkness in the room with this light. And this is what will be happening when the light from Vajrasattva's heart chakra touches your heart chakra. All the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all your attachment and neediness and anger, and if there's violence in your mind, depression, anxiety, resentment, jealousy, bitterness, grudges, all of this is instantly dispelled. Not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa 
Anaractamibua, Sava Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sava Kamasita May, Sitam Shriam Kuru, whom Ho Bagoan, Sava Tata Gata Vajama, Mimutta Vajabawa, Mahasamaya Sapa Ah, Humpe, Ambaja Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vaja Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Mibua, Sutokaya Mibua, Sipokaya Mibua, Anaracta Mibua, Sava Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sava Kamasita May, Sitam Shriam Kuru, whom Ha Ho Bagoan, Sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabala maha samaya sattva aham pe. Ambhajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dita mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa. Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sitta me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabala maha samaya sattva aham Hompe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sitokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ah Hompe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sitokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sitokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of your suffering, the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are completely purified. Just imagine they're gone, finished. And now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time imagine Vajrasattva sends light and nectar and it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dino Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mipi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa 
Anarakta me boa saba sidi me piyato saba kama sita me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan saba tata gata vajama me mutta vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa Anarakta me boa saba sidi me piyato saba kama sita me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So now really feel you're completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So now we come to the power of resolve. And this is the fourth step in the purification process. And quite a crucial one is this determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind. So we really think also too about refraining from doing things. So we just kind of pull ourselves back a little bit and we're retraining our mind to from those habits to say things that are harmful or to do things that are harmful, to think things that are harmful. So we're changing our mind, we're changing our habits. And, you know, as Lama Yeshi used to say, you do have the power. It's all within our control. We just have to decide, this is what I want to do. And it will happen eventually. It may not happen overnight, but it will happen. So then we maybe think of something, give yourself a timeline, maybe a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. A few hours while you're sleeping at night. And this kind of determination, this decision we make, kind of gives us strength, makes it happen. So Vajrasapra is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech, and mind and Vajrasapra's body, speech, and mind and my own body, speech, and mind are the same thing. And so next, uh, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. An emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, wherever your mind is in, in terms of understanding this concept, think of all phenomena as empty they do not exist from their own side we can also think that perhaps the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist so let's just dedicate all the merit all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think may all the virtuous karma i've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And you can think also, we'll keep thinking about all those folks in Turkey and Syria, particularly Syria. It seems like there's um, very little help going there. Maybe it's starting to filter through now, but keep those people in your prayers because they are cold. Some are still in rubble and people are dying there because they can't get access fast enough. So just keep them all in your prayers. And dedicate for them. So for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Supreme Bashe. Oh, to Pshu Chang Jin Jam Gahan Galloway. Ten zing chong pel way cones a dog pours a dog some gur away leg mon to droop. Pa dog sog do lege gone do jab ten show. Lama Esel, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors, for those wanderers and far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. 
Don't forget you share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody. Alexis, thank you for hosting again. And thank you, Mary, for being a guard at the door. I can see you working. Oh, we, we lost Shayla. Okay. Um, all right. And I can't believe the week is the weeks are going again so fast. So when you live with someone who's 89, which is what I do, she said, and your life just goes like this. It's kind of scary. <laughs> anyway. All right, everybody. Make the most of your life. Lots of love. I will see you on Monday, hopefully, and sweet dreams. And if you're going to watch the halftime show, enjoy. And then also think there is something to consider about the, what is it, um, Super Bowl Sunday. There is a bit of an underbelly to this show. I, I did read there was some trafficking that happens around these particular big sporting events. So maybe keep all the people in your prayers. That's another group of people to keep in your prayers. I was a bit surprised, but apparently stuff that happens. B-Y-O-T is at the same time. What is that? Becoming your own therapist. That's all right, then. That's probably a much healthier thing to watch. Yeah. <laughs> watch becoming your own therapist. Oh, be your own therapist with Venable Rabina instead. <laughs> you can watch the halftime show on YouTube. All right, everybody. Lots of love. See you oh. on Monday. Or oh, maybe I'll see some of you Sunday too. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.